All right, real quick before I get started today on dr drawing Croconaw, I want to show you guys that I colored. <laughs> whoops, that I colored in Totodile. So now Totodile is all nice and colored in. You can see what he actually looks like. So just like his outline. So yeah, that's what Totodile looks like. Now on to the Angry Chicken. <laughs> That's not just me, right? He does look like an angry chicken, right? Right, the, the, the chicken, and he looks angry. He looks like an angry chicken. <laughs> All right, time to learn how to draw crocodile. All right, so we got our normal supplies, our like nice little sharpie to outline everything for you guys, so you can see it better. My eraser and a pencil, nice little mechanical pencil. So. I didn't record, write down the instructions for this one because it's very, very simple. You start with an egg shape, although you kind of want it slanted to one side and this being the flatter side. And you don't want to draw it as big as you think you need um, because there's so much around it that I always end up making him way too big and then I can't fit his tail in here. So after I make sure I have pencil lead, I'm going to draw an egg. Like, I think this may have been just a bit too big. Alright, so we draw an egg like that. That That's probably good enough. Okay. I know you guys can't really see that that well. Uh, you guys can usually see better than I can see on my camera. So, even though I'm looking directly at my camera, I can't see it that well. You guys are... When I edit, I feel like, oh, you guys can see that much better than I thought. <laughs> so next is we add this little, like, three-point, um, almost like a crown-like thing on his head. And just right after it, he has, like, a stuck-up snout, like this, nice big, big snout. Okay, and then his arm kind of goes at a slant out like this and then his leg goes down like this oh whoops just, just forget that just, just flat there <laughs> that's one leg and then the other arm is gonna go out like this kind of straightish I feel like I'm, I always feel like I put that out too far. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to draw two spikes on his back. Ending right about where the arm is. Then his other leg. Whoops, this is not going to be like that. It's going to be like that. There we go. Oh, and I forgot his angry eye. And I still don't have a lot of room here for the tail. I'm just going to move this out of the way. It's my inking paper. I still don't have a lot of room for the tail. I have more than on this one. But I don't have a lot of room for the tail. I always, always make it too big. See, you don't need it as big as you think you do. Um, so, we're going to make a very rounded uh, eye. Kind of slanted down like this. There we go. There, and that's that's the first step. There we go. First step complete. Angry chicken is now gone. Poof. Next step, he looks less like an angry chicken. Right, so he, I actually think he looks kind of sad in this one. I, I made his eye too squinty, and he he looks like he's gonna cry. <laughs> So, <laughs> right, so, first things first, we're going to, we're going to do two things. We're going to draw the outline of this. I can, I combined two steps to make it easier because they were really simple, like one thing steps. So we're going to add this to him and then we're going to give him a, reshape him a little bit better. So we're going to make his thing come like this. Um, and then I, I kind of like to draw a circle 
like this. I did it wrong. Okay, so I like to go down and then up like this. And then we're going to erase like this part right here. <laughs> and that's that's his mouth. Yep. <laughs> so. And then we're going to draw his eye. So he's going to have this part of his eye. And then there's going to be a little loop that goes like this. Not all the way. Just most of the way. We're gonna about here to here we're gonna go down and then we're gonna go up. Just to give him kind of a little rounded appeal. Alright, and for the markings on his outfit, this goes up about around halfway through his arm. And then it's going to come down like this, and then between his arm and his leg, it's going to come back in almost like a rounded shape, but with more straightest lines like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to draw a teardrop. It's almost like a circle got drawn here and somebody just took away the line <laughs> so it just goes like this point like this point like that and then we have a triangle here which with a little rounded I like to round this one down and then round this one out just to give it a kind of a shape and then round the bottom line like that could probably make this one a little bit bigger um, round it out just a little bit there we go now I feel like it's too big no no I feel like it's too big <laughs> there's no happy medium we will move the uh, triangle over just a little bit There we go. And then give this more of a teardrop shape. There you go. There. And that is his outfit. Now for his feet. The way I find the best way to do feet is like this. But then this line comes like that. And then for this one, that's going to be that line. And then we're going to come here. Let's pretend like this is the line for the toes. So we have one, two, 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 three, two. And yes, it's not quite a line, but that's okay. For the hands, we're going to do one two, three, four, and then a little one right here, five. One, two, three, four, and another one right here. He's got hands, actual hands. I'm so, I apologize for the shadow, it's late in the evening, so I'm just using my house light and it's casting the shadow this way, so. Good thing I'm right-handed or else you'd never see anything. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. And then there's a line right here, because this doesn't go in this far. There's a line right here to show that this is his arm. And then I think there's one right here too. This comes in like that. And he... Oh, I forgot the tail! I was forgetting the tail. I always like to... And... There. It just barely fits on the page. Awesome. Okay. All right. Now, what's the next step? I always do that so you guys don't get to see the steps ahead of time. 
Alright, so this one is the arm things that I was just doing and the teeth. That and the teeth. There's a tooth here and a tooth here. There you go. And that is Croconaw. So now I get the fun part of inking him. Yay! Now, to erase. Okay, so here are the two croconaws. This one I did beforehand, he kind of looks very angry. This one looks a lot happier, like, ha ha ha, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> I like this one better, which is weird, because normally I much prefer the ones that I had more time to work on. I do like this part of this one better, but I think the face overall I like much better on this guy. I do like this thing better on this guy. I like the eye better, even though because the ink wasn't dry I smudged the black. Um, yeah. Yeah, so now, give her to the reject and color him in. So, I'm going to give you guys a treat. I'm going to show you what Croconaw is actually supposed to look like versus what he looks like. Alright, so here we have Croconaw follicular in. I totally did not forget that little pink gem on his tail <laughs> that I totally didn't notice. <laughs> and that I noticed when I was using my reference book for colors. Totally did not notice the little tail. No, I totally did that. You guys don't see that. I totally, totally drew on that gem beforehand. <laughs> I don't know, now that he's colored, he just kind of looks evil because he's got this little red eye. Like, evil. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's bring Totodile back out here because Totodile looks cute and happy. And it's the. And Croconaw's the evolved form of Totodile, so. We're just gonna look at the cute, happy Totodile and not the evil, angry uh, Croconaw. <laughs> Who at one point looked like an angry chicken. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of learning to draw Pokemon. Uh, so, I will see you guys next week with Wabothit. That'll be fun. <laughs> right. right, so if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And... If you feel like it, comment on how you think I did with Croconaw. And if you like the coloring that I did for Totodile that I didn't do two weeks ago. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!